All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Trigun, Trigun Stampede, Stampede, episode 10. 10. All right. Humans or plants? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who deserves this planet more? Because humans don't exactly have the greatest of track records, both with, like, the planet sus sustenance thing, mm -hmm. but then also the, the, the plants are, specifically. You know, right, yeah. The, yeah. The, the plants at the moment, the, 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 the main ones, are leading, you know, a, a revolutionary group going around Indeed. And murderizing everybody. So, so, yeah. so we got, we got ourselves a, a real pickle of a, of a uh -huh. problem here. Yep. And, yep. uh, yeah, our, our characters are caught up in the middle of it. Uh, we currently are in a situation where also, uh, uh, Roberto and, uh, Meryl Strife are kind of getting also like, like they kind of got whisked yeah. to like a uh -huh. specific spot, you know? But like given that, you know, the baddies are like talking to them. That means they're not killing them, so that's good. Right. You know? I love that. Yeah. They can get some more lore dumps. Right. So all for more lore dumps. Mm -hmm. Good good stuff there. Um uh but yeah, yeah. Uh we are also coming up rapidly on the finale. We are indeed. But they can do a lot in three episodes oh, yeah. in this show. Plenty. So, yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, three episodes. They can do an awful lot. An awful lot. Yeah. So y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Ooh. Very cool. Tell me. Uh, immediately starts drinking. <laughs> yep. Oh. Mm. Using so does, them correctly. Yeah, so like he has a different use for them. Mm hmm. Oh, he knows oh, about her. Yeah, because oh. of course they would. Mm. <laughs> okay. They're really, like, getting the full, like, tour. Treatment, yeah. <laughs> Bargain sale. I mean, hey, our lives are in the palm of their hand at this point anyway. They already kidnapped us, like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's cool. And yet, this is so small if you think about it, you know? I mean, it's very vertical. Yeah. Like, but like, it just goes to show how pushed to the edge of extinction humanity is that, like, this is the big city. Right. And yet, you know, in our world, it's like. I mean, I'm sure there's like 50,000 people here. Sure. No. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> Fucking mesh! Uh, well, no. <laughs> you want to hear the story about the the one who does destroy cities? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit! Oh, just like that. At least it was just the one shot. And he, he just like, walks away. Right. Yeah, terraforming is slow. Oh, not even talking about the plants that would die in that time. Just, would we make it? Damn! Holy piano! Yeah. Gang! <laughs> I think he's about to to drop something. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hybrids. Synthesis. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. All mm -hmm. absolutely violently mad failures, though. Right, but they. But the way they like got more human as we progressed through that list. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Damn, just like that, yeah. Easy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, poverty is no guarantee. Yeah, but fuck their will, right? You know, like... <laughs> I bet you would have actually gotten some volunteers, you know? But no, you had to kidnap kids. Right, because he specifically does not need to eat. Mm. Yeah, independent, yeah. Yeah, not even Vash is like that. No, I think he is. Like, Vash is hanging out in the desert for how long? Oh. Yeah. That, okay. That is the humane way to do it. Yeah. Like... Damn. So it can't power up things like a regular plant. Mm. And it's not actually human. But it is actually powering things right now. But he really does believe in this because he doesn't really have a reason to tell Meryl about this. Mm -hmm. Other than... Oh, damn. Yeah, he really believes in it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that's some murderous uh, desire at a very young age. Mm -hmm. So, Doc, did you give them the god complex, or yeah, did they yeah. do that themselves? Like. Oh. What? <laughs> 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 yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> God, things were so serious. And within five seconds. So silly. It got so silly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that'll do much, my I don't guy. That's gonna do anything, yeah. <laughs> Man, she's really harping on that pity thing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the voice. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to get you even if you get in the elevator. Ah! Okay. Oh, oh, shit! oh, wait, they're in the elevator? What? Wait. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no kidding. Pain sucks, doesn't it? First time feeling pain, probably. Hmm, sure. Oh, yeah. I was wondering. I literally said it earlier, just like, you're going to be the death of me, yeah. Right. Well, and even with the gun, like the, oh, shit, that worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Not even making it about the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. God, the piano's been yep. been going. And she picks up the gun. Mm -hmm. So will she be able to do it? Oh shit. Yeah, she's going back up. <laughs> All the way. 
We could have been brothers. Could have been besties. Yeah. I Did saw my that job. liquid welling up in your eyes, Wolfwood. Mm. The final confrontation. So, what are you going to do, Vash? You're not going to reach him with words. And not with bullets, either. Cause not with bullets, either. You tried right? that before, and that didn't work. Well, mm. that's not all. <laughs> that's not all. <laughs> You're powerful enough that. <laughs> okay. But I mean, hey, don't sell yourself short. You caused the crash. Oh, like mm. Vash. Oh, your burdens? Sure. Yeah. Huh? Oh, shit. What I have done to you. Oh. Oh. Like. Wait. Hang on. Yeah, but a lot of that is because of what you've been doing, not because of what he's done. Projecting much? Damn. Oh. oh, shit. This is all for Hi. him. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, that was an episode. Here we go to the finale, then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Fun, fun. Yep. We've got all our characters making their final decisions before the finale here. Mm -hmm. um, the Doctor was kind of the standout this episode and really presenting was, yeah. a really, um, I would say, balanced side of things to Nye's arguments and that right. the worst part of his thing there is that he's kidnapping and experimenting on the kids, basically. But even then, he's not necessarily doing that anymore no. because now they've got their thing of, yeah. yeah, we can just clone people. Yeah. And and, and cloning would be the ultimate, like, like that's best the way, way to, to do, do it. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, okay, cool. Yeah, would the human race be able to survive in the long term, you know, because, you know, genetically speaking, a clone wouldn't be able to reproduce. But, I mean... But maybe because no, they're not technically clones, they're, like, well, plant-human I mean, hybrids, they're... Uh, theoretically, a clone could totally reproduce. The question is, like, anytime you get into sci-fi stuff, it's they're probably breaking the inherent problem with cloning that we have nowadays. Well, because we clone things nowadays, but the problem is that the DNA is still, you know, is still aged as if it's both things put together rather than starting well, right, from but scratch. That, but that's, but that's, the, that's the thing that where it's not necessarily, is because if they're solving the aging problem, then it's the... Then that doesn't just, matter. Well, then that doesn't necessarily matter. It's right. then the, oh, we just mm -hmm. have to spend that time that right. we lived to make more clones. And, and maybe the thing that you should be focusing on now, Doc, because, hey, I like, I like where you're going with this, right? You know, you definitely committed some uh, crimes against humanity oh, yeah. getting here. But now that you're in this position, okay... But like that clone, it really seems to have an unnatural predilection for bloodshed without like, like, okay, yes, they were like, ah, I pity them or whatever, but like, is uh, that, I interpreted that in the worst possible it, way. Right. So now I'm going to murder is you. Is that just because they're around nigh? Or is it like an inherent aspect of like the cloning process? Because, you know, if it's- Either if one it's, is pretty bad. Either one is pretty bad, but if it's one, then it's like, okay, and, you know, if Nye could theoretically mellow out or go somewhere <laughs> else, then like, okay, this this could still work this for could humanity. Be better, yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Also, just the idea that, um, you know, Vash is being here for the plants. He wants to free them, basically, so that he can undo the damage that Nye has done. And also the way in which bringing them out would be the equivalent of, I have just as much right to free them from you 
as you did to free them from the human's knives. So if you believe that you are just in doing that, then I'm just in taking them away from you because you haven't given me your argument as to how you're not going to use them here. Right, because that was, the, and that was the that was the thing that I want to see followed up on. Because now he's saying I don't believe you can use them correctly. No, no, no. it's you shouldn't be using them, right? Like that's the that's the whole basis now, for your thing. Might things, be right? just that he's like, oh, they're corpses right now. They're dead, basically. I'm going to give them new life out of that death. Sure. That that that, or, that is a that is a pretty noble effort in that regard. Or the but, hey, I figured out a way to, you know, uh make it so that it is willing participation rather than coerced, you know, right, participation. Right, if he can communicate with them. But that's the thing yeah. that's actually kind of cool here is that like Vash is the unique one in this regard. Like he can hear them too, uh, nigh, but mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen Vash has like been hearing their their cries and what have you like all this time but that's not a thing that's like that's not a thing that like humans in general are going to hear so the idea that like humans might be thinking oh, yeah. of this like they're talking to trees but right. if trees are silently screaming telepathically and humans can't hear that then the humans yeah, aren't exactly. monsters because they're cutting down trees like you need to fix that language barrier so yeah, they yeah, can know, yeah. don't oh, cut down shit. trees. You know? Right, so they don't know that they're basically exploiting a sentient species in that right. regard. It's it's like we're like, uh, uh, people have started to realize that like, oh, um, is octopi, is that the correct plural word? But basically, yeah, so. yeah. they're very intelligent. like like Extremely. Like comparable to humans kind of a thing, so that it's like, they're, you know, people are making the point of, it is not humane to basically use these animals for food, Mm -hmm. because they're so intelligent, right? There's like, a lot of animals like that that have extreme levels of intelligence compared to the rest of the animal kingdom. Right. Uh, elephants, um, dolphins. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a bunch of other ones like that. But basically, the main problem we have is a language barrier. We just don't have the means to communicate right. in a direct way. And theoretically, if you got that language barrier, then you could actually get them to be able to communicate and then be like, hey, you know, you very much value our ability to right. produce stuff because it helps you survive in this harsh well, environment. Cool. Right. We're still going to farm you, but we're going to do it in a humane way where it's yeah. be like, hey, we're going to raise you nice, like, you know, like pigs. We're going to we're going to treat you like well, pigs. Well, I mean, I wasn't know. even going to say that because because you could argue that theoretically that's what they're doing now. Oh, you that's know? absolutely what they're doing um, now. And, and that's what Nye's trying to stop. Um, no, I, I'm, it I'm is more, a farm situation. No, I'm, more, I'm more thinking of the, like, you know, general society, you know, uh, you you pay the farmer for the goods, you know, kind of a thing. Introduce them right? to capitalism. Yeah, <laughs> capitalism will solve everything. <laughs> oh God! But but yeah, oh. like now, um, if you wanted to just rescue them, just maybe just go in and rescue. Vash was. But that's Vash the thing. He doesn't was... just want to rescue. No, no, them. he doesn't. He no, no he no. wants to kill the humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I I love the the gaslighting of mm -hmm. the crash you caused 150 years ago. Yeah, like what what the fuck? And this is this is actually bros something. like bros like like yeah you might have indirectly caused it by some manipulations I did or by some things mm -hmm. that you you know kept from happening by the way that I did things. Sure. But I I manipulated things. I intended for this oh, no, to happen. Yeah. Vash had no idea. Like right. <laughs> like. <laughs> In, and this kind that's of like thing, peak gaslighting. that's something that if anything, I would have loved to see the doctor talk about mm -hmm. because like the, the, um, the, the, the child clone thing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, very much reveres not right. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But with the doctor, I get that he's got the guilt aspect of it, but since he's coming at this from like that purely logical, Hey, I'm not talking about the feelings of things mm -hmm. like I'm. The humanity's going to die. Right. So I'm so, trying to solve so that issue. He's got a guilt issue. He's mm -hmm. got a guilty conscience on a And that's of muddying up the waters. Well, of it's his muddying attempted up the waters for pure logic. Hold on, hold on. You know. It's the idea that in that picture, I believe that was Nye I think standing so. alongside him there. Mm -hmm. But he said, What I did to you. Yeah, so we still don't have the full picture. So there was stuff that was done on the way to this star system, basically, where mean, this guy who was the mm -hmm. head researcher, AKA Count, who's a what's it? Right, right. Um, was a very important human in the mm -hmm. like grand scheme of things and maybe ended up creating yeah, the I'm, twins? Or at the very least, maybe, maybe he's responsible for the differences between Nye and, and Vash. Vash. Sure. You know, sure. And, and I would not Something be surprised. To think about. They, they could definitely go for the angle where 
Um, cause they, I almost thought they were going to bring it up when the clone child got, uh, got the scratch mm -hmm. and then suddenly is like genuinely feeling pain. It's not the crocodile tears thing of like, oh, no. you wouldn't hurt me, right? They've never felt pain before. They've never felt pain before. Never. And pain, you could say, is potentially the motivator behind um, the ethics system that we have as people, right? Oh, because, in a lot of ways it is. Because yeah. we end up feeling pain. Oh, we hate that. We understand that others can feel pain. And for whatever reason, whether you're talking about a purely selfish like, I'm not going to hurt you because I don't want you to hurt me, you know? Or, or we can both alleviate each other's pain. Or, or, or you know? the point of what Vash is, which is mm -hmm. empathy. The idea that when I see someone else in pain, I it, feel pain sure. if I have empathy. Now, even at the very least, if I have sympathy, I'm going to feel bad for them. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to feel, oh, that sucks that you're in that situation. Right. The, I wouldn't want to be where you're, you are, but uh -huh. I do feel pity. Sure. That's the that's what sympathy is. And the clone had an issue with just being sympathized with. Right. But what I really like is that when Vash saw them genuinely in pain, mm -hmm. he empathized and got down to her, to their level and like started to like try and care mm -hmm. for them. And that's the difference is that empathy shatters barriers. Empathy is so fucking powerful. Right, you regard. could still have, you could still have Nye be like a, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. You know, and then right. paste somebody. It's the, yeah. let me process He's those feelings. There, let me but... process those feelings. Oh, those were great. I am still, you know, somewhat, you know, right. I have a soul. I have a decent yep. part of me in there. And now, now that I've dealt with that, kill. You know, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. empathy in some ways would literally have you just retching at the idea of trying to inflict harm on somebody like that especially if you're in the th in the in the like the throes of it you know and that's what i think oh, sure. makes vash so cool is that he's empathy to a fault like he's right. he's almost like, truly well right but in in some ways that's if everybody was like vash the world would be safe exactly. like we would right. literally not have any problems anymore like that's yeah. that's the the reason why it's to a fault is that we feel bad, almost in some ways, we sympathize with Vash of looking at him being like, wow, it must suck to be in that situation where you feel for even your enemies and you care for people that don't care about you. Well, right. Glad that's, that's not me. Well, I mean, sure. And yet, like, I I definitely um, end up feeling like, feeling more attachment to like the, uh, the at best, like the Meryl Strife and then from mm -hmm. there, the the head reporter dude who unfortunately got skewered. But hey, you managed to shoot two of the nails before before you did. That was pretty awesome. While and then, drunk. Yeah, and then and then further, you know, like on that like gradient, um, uh, Wolfwood because right. because Vash, you do have to like like even with all of his empathy. In episode three, he still tried to kill Nye. That's the right call. Nye needs to go. You know, he's crazy and he needs to go down. Yeah, it's sad, but that's that's true. Yeah. 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 If if Nye does end up having some change of heart, great. Great. Yeah. But you know, not our job to bet on that, right? But that's that's the cool part is that people who believe that it is their job to mm -hmm. do that usually are led by something that is overriding that sense of reason. Sure. And that's why pretty much all the main characters here feel burdened with some kind of guilt right now. Strife right. got Roberto killed. Mm -hmm. Lock, Lockwood? Uh, Wolfwood. 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 Wolfwood has ended up basically intentionally even telling Vash that he's selling him out here and yep. guiding him here. Mm -hmm. And yet he did it anyway because Vash just right. wants to I'm going to make and sure that you year. get here alive. Yeah. The head researcher did some things to Nye. And he also committed horrible crimes against humanity to get to this point. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Nye, who feels like maybe he is a failure of a plant to not protect his people earlier. Sure. Or yeah. also uh, feels probably on some level, because he's still human, some measure of something for all the kills, killings that he's done. Maybe, maybe. Sure. Vash, on the other hand, we had the villain actually like poke at the thing that's a, like probably the most important thing here is that, Ash, is this really genuine love that you have for right. humanity? Or yeah. do you just feel guilt for what happened 150 years ago? Because on some level, 
he's right. Yeah. On like, some small level, mm-hmm. he's right about Vash. I, I don't necessarily sure. think it's is, a small level. Vash is definitely doing this for himself. Well, because um, uh, back when they were a bit more innocent, even though arguably mm-hmm. I wasn't at that point because he's plotting the, you know, everything that he did, right? <laughs> right. Yes. Um, uh, Vash didn't love humanity. No. He, there was care. He even, you know, got mm-hmm. to the point of like addressing some of the people that were in stasis by name and all that stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. But the person that he loved was his caretaker. Right. Right? That's because... That's, that's simple. That's simple, right? That's something that he was able to do. Loving and, all of humanity. Yeah. Mm, you know. And to be fair, that is something that separated him from Nye. Right. Nye didn't Nye care did about her at all. No. In right. fact, he probably hated her. Right. But what Vash did was basically reciprocate. He didn't right. actually do anything... And... New and something that I'm that curious point, yeah. about, given that they brought up the idea of the the doctor guy having done something to Nye, mm-hmm. if he's re- if the thing that he did was simply uh, was responsible for the differences between Nye and Vash mm-hmm. from the Nye doesn't need sustenance and things like that. He's the more mm-hmm. perfect specimen. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if the show is going to go in the direction of as a result of mm-hmm. Nye not needing sustenance and remember not- just in just a small little thing here vash doesn't need sustenance either he just does it to kind of mimic and fit in he he at the very beginning when they're having like the cake and everything i, I thought i thought because I, I know we talked about that uh like quite a bit but i i thought it was that um uh like we reached the conclusion that um he specifically did because i remember i was t- i was thinking that he didn't and i thought we found something in the episode that uh, that showcase that he did. Okay, well, okay, whatever. Go go ahead. But, um, yeah, assuming that's the case, if it's not, then, you know, yeah. Um, but if that is the case, I wonder if they would potentially go into something that feels, that feels, uh, like it rhymes with the, uh, the clone child experiencing pain mm-hmm. in that, um, Vash had an actual dependency, right? Mm-hmm. He needed food. He needed to be fed. He needed to be taken care of, right? And so it makes sense that that would be something that would, um, at the very least, facilitate him being able to then empathize with humans, even if it's not the like sole cause of it or whatever, sure. right? Whereas, you know, theoretically, not that the uh, the clone ended up, you know, empathizing with the the people around them after they did feel pain, but that could be something where it could start from, right? Yeah, yeah. The you know acknowledging of your own mortality and things like that, and the Oh right, other people, you know, struggling. I mean, you know. I mean, 150 years of wandering the desert, struggling to just try and find even people that can connect with you, or something like that. That's in and of itself just a. That's a great little oh. story of humanity as a whole, anyways. Sure. Like, like, right there, you you'd have enough probably to connect with them at that point. But mm. I, I do think a lot of it was um, a form of mimicry. I, I don't think he was completely oh wait is this the one here yeah 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 it's not a waste at all but basically he's talking about the waste of of resources for the um i don't have to eat like vash does oh you're right you're right you're right yeah that's right i keep forgetting about this we've gone back to this i think at least once before Mm -hmm. okay but yeah it's i'm I'm curious to see how the various things that they've set up mm-hmm. in this episode, because like this episode had a lot of crazy stuff happen, a lot of like like drops and things like that, mm-hmm. <laughs> literally at the end. Um, yeah. But there were also a lot of things set up where it's like, ooh, we're planting a little seed here, leaving a breadcrumb. Uh-huh. Yes. You know, how is that then going to be followed up on? Because each of them could have pretty crazy ramifications on the right. story as a whole. Yeah, uh, so the finale's you- got a lot writing on it basically and i believe this is another thing that is important here i don't believe this is a single season series i've heard rumblings that um uh orange is uh going to be like talking about trigon season two actually very okay cool and that so i feel like that makes sense doesn't have to be a full total yeah you know end of everything given what we've gone through up until now i feel like that makes a lot of sense yeah um Yeah, yeah i agree but 
All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.